So I'm here to talk to you today about digital dentistry and 3D printing applications. So what is digital dentistry? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story or journey um, with digital workflows and dentistry. And 3D printing is something that's pretty cool. Next door, there's a 3D printing lab. So I was just kind of geeking out earlier, just looking at all the technology that we have here at Clemson University. It's pretty powerful. Okay, so image is everything. So this image is pretty cool because it kind of wraps up all the technologies I use. I use on a daily basis in one image. So photography, radiology, comb beam computed tomography, CBCT or CT scans, and then optical scans, digital impressions. So when we take all this technology and we package it in one, there's a lot of breakthroughs. We have to break the mold. So in my industry, I'm just gonna to try to tell you a little bit of story about how I do this to better my patient care. So number one goal for me implementing digital workflows is to provide the best patient care possible. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about digital crowns, CAD CAM, computed aided design and computer aided manufacturing crowns in office. Um, also 3D printing for guided implant surgeries. It's changed the game in my practice. And then also for smile designs. That's one of the most rewarding things in my office, creating a smile, a smile design, changing someone's life, helping them to be more happy and fulfilled. So image is everything in my profession. So once I found it safer to stay in the background, but I've stepped from the shadows into the spotlight. So this is a pretty powerful image and it's a big motivator for me every day. So I was walking into school with my son and he said, Dad, here's your shadow, take a picture. So I snapped a picture. Later in the day, he said, let's take a look at that picture, Dad. So I looked at it and he's like, Dad, I'm gonna be a big, as big as you one day. And I said, son, you're gonna be bigger than me one day. So find something that really captures your passion and motivates you on a daily basis. It's the screensaver on my phone. So every day when I wake up, I go to work, I see that. So it, it's something that really pushes me. But in any industry you go into, you wanna surround yourself with leaders. So sometimes you feel like you're the leader. You're, you're the picture on the left. You're the tall shadow. Sometimes you're the follower. Sometimes we're pulling each other. So we're all on a journey together. So remember, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. So I want to show with you a little bit how 3D and digital workflows help my industry evolve. So every day in my clinical office, I'm a doctor, I'm teaching my patients. So what is the Latin root word for doctor? It's docere, which means to teach. So I help teach and educate my patients on what healthcare they need to help them make decisions. Also, I love educating in my industry so we started traveling and speaking about digital workflows because I'm passionate about giving the best patient care. And I feel that 3D, digital, printing, all this stuff wrapped together is something that's just really cool. I play video games all day. You know, I'm here, so raise the hands. Who loves going to the dentist? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> all that, raise your hands. You're lying. No, but today I want to show you maybe something, maybe I'll inspire someone in this room to be a dentist one day. So I think that maybe I'll show you some fun, cool, refreshing things in my profession. Um, but I think it's, uh, it, we're all better together. So push through, launch your team to the next level is kind of something that we started and we'll go on. We grow every single day. We challenge ourselves every single day and we get uncomfortable we get comfortable being uncomfortable and then we break through to the next phase that next phase that's really important so we're all going to go through life struggles in whatever industry we're in but in, once you push through break the mold that's what helps innovation that's what drives patient care that's what drives the industry that's finding solutions for me to provide better patient care and so Going through the next phase, pushing through is something we all need to do.
So dare to dream big. Using all this technology to do powerful things, to do better patient care, is something I think is really cool. Who loves getting impressions, molds of your mouth at the dentist? Does anyone in the room have that done? Where you get this tray, you whop it full of glue, and you stick it in the mouth, and they say four minutes, and you're like, oh my gosh. Things are different now. So here's a little bit about what we're doing today for taking an impression. It's an optical scan. So we literally take a wand that's about the weight of an iPhone, and we're just flying through the mouth. Remember when I said I'm kind of playing video games all day? This is how we take impressions of the mouth now. It's a video game. It's lasers. It's a live video stream. So imagine this. You come in for a cleaning, new patient in my office. We do a scan, an optical scan. Now we have captured in a digital vault the anatomy of your mouth, your teeth, your smile. Let's say you had a trip fall after having an amazing TEDx event because you're running outside, you're, so re- you're just so excited you're ready to run through a wall. Well, once we capture this as a new patient, we have this forever. So we can actually take that technology and biocopy what you had before to restore your mouth, your broken tooth. CBCT, I mentioned earlier, comb being computed tomography, CT scan. So this is kind of a snapshot of my everyday planning for guided implant surgeries. So, we'll, so radiology in two dimensions is your regular x-ray you take for your cleanings and your checkups. But a CT scan helps us see a little bit more in the three dimension. And on the lower left, we take all the technology together. We'll combine the intraoral scan that you saw before, the CT scan, take software, merge it, and then we can plan and make a guide, which you see in blue, and use that as the precise entry point to do minimally invasive surgery without laying an incision, flap without causing trauma, and all the things that can go along with that with inflammation and healing. So our surgeries are now faster, easier, and for the patient, we work this up chair side. We work this all on the computer chair side, and they see it's not scary, it's scary, easy. So here's a software kind of going through the workflow of making the blue part, which is the digital portion of the 3D printed guide we're going to print. In summary, tying it all together and 3D printing. How cool is that? That's fun. So we have the 3D printers next door, but on the right, it's a build plate. So this is, it goes down into a vat of resin. It just looks like a pool of slime. Who loves playing with slime? I've always loved playing with slime. It's all the rage right now with the kids. But it goes down and and the light source cures it in layers. And this bill plate goes up and down in this slime. And then eventually the bill plate pops up. Boom, there's your 3D printed model. Then we have to cure it in a curing light to harden it. And that sets. Without freaking some of you out with a bloody surgery. Actually, I told you it's not bloody, right? It's 3D printed and guided. But you can kind of see from the analog, this is a 3D printed model of the scan that you saw earlier. 3D printed guide, the resin that you saw of the guide, and there's the little small tube. That's exactly how we know the precise depth, angle, and position that we're going to place the implant to restore a lost tooth after you run out the door, excited from the TEDx event, right? <laughs> so starting to overlay an x-ray here transparently, and then all the way through to reality. So that's a real x-ray from this 3D printed, and there's no flap, no incision. We just go right there into it. Healing time is fast and amazing. It helps me be more confident doing our patient care. So there's no success without losses and failures. I had many failures with 3D printing. I had no clue. I went on all these different forums and all these different industries 3D printing. We're talking about how did you get into 3D printing? It's just something that makes sense for my patient care because I want to provide, remember, the best patient care possible. So if I take the technology and actually use that to print something and do a surgery better, that's how we innovate. That's how we push through. That's how we change the mold. So we're using 3D printing and all kinds of things in dentistry. There's a lot of failures in that bucket, so I t- snapped a picture of that. Oh, everyone knows me. I love, I'm passionate about dentistry and Clemson football. But a great analogy is this was an important game in 2016. We didn't give up. Didn't give up with my 3D printing. 
The whole crowd didn't go up. All, everybody's energy was ready. We were going to lose this game to NC State on homecoming and lose our national championship season. All, everything on the line. Chip shot, time running out. But everyone believed. Everyone was all in. So everyone's on the same page pushing through, never giving up. So never give up if you have failures in your profession. I really wasn't good at 3D printing and the digital stuff. But now I've pushed through, and now it's taken me to new levels in my profession. I told you about one of the most rewarding things with 3D printing is smile design makeovers, cosmetics, changing the way people think and feel because of their appearance, their psychology, the emotional part of the industry is very, very powerful for me. And that's one of the things I love doing. I love to do cosmetic makeovers. So at the top, you see an overlay of a scan of some teeth that didn't look so good. All right, so we use software to figure out where we want to make the teeth look more symmetry, balance. We wanted more aesthetics to deliver for this patient. This patient deserved that. And then we 3D printed the model. That's what the model looks like. So instead of taking that goo impression, waiting four minutes, we run in the lab and stone and water mix up and pour this thing with expansion shrinkage and is it gonna be accurate? No, we can do this all on the computer and make it fast, efficient. So we can go someone with a unhappy appearance of their smile to something beautiful, all through fully digital workflows. More harmony, more balance, beautiful. Computers help us analyze things in a different way, but we have to be in control and drive the innovation. So, Can we turn the bass up? So tying it all together now. So they're gonna scan the mouth. Scan the opposing so we figure out where to build the teeth. Articulate it digitally. That's one thing that's really difficult when you're pouring up plaster and stone. Recognize the face here? I have beautiful gaps in between my teeth. So we did a demonstration on how to do a live same day smile design. So in the software, we took me from gaps to no gaps. And then we took that smile design idea in two dimension and then laid it in our software, overlay this with our CAD software to design our crown. So it gives us a guide of where we're gonna build it. We're not just impressions into a lab and hope it comes back looking good. This is what I do every day in my office. It's so much fun. And then we merge the file and make it solid. We take it on a build plate in the software and 3D, use a 3D printer to print the model. So what we do with that model, we take something like putty, almost like Play-Doh, we wrap it on the model, we put some temporary material, material, filling material in it, we snap it in the mouth, you can do a trial smile, you can try it in that day before you leave the office just to see if you like it. You talk about case acceptance, going way up the roof, you talk about being able to deliver a different level of care, I think it's pretty cool. So do the common things in the uncommon way and you will command the attention of the world. Dabo Sweeney. That's pretty awesome. So go digital. So I went digital. I'm the 20% in my profession that are digital. That the labs making our crowns, they're 90% digital. So that wave is changing. In dental school, they're learning everything, all digital workflows now. So the times are changing. I'm ahead of the curve, but I'm implementing it daily to better my patient care. And that's the most important thing. So don't be afraid of your shadow. It's really a constant reminder that there's light all around you. So remember the shadow of my son and I in the beginning? Always surround yourself with people that you admire and inspire you. And just remember, there's a tiger in all of us. Thank you. Go Tigers. <laughs>